Hey, what is going on guys? Jordan Bianchi here again with a haircut tutorial. This is not going to be a POV style video or for those that don't know what POV is, that's point of view. We're gonna be mounting the camera to my ring light and recording with the GoPro. So I apologize for the over ex uh, exposure. Uh, you guys will see what I'm talking about a little bit later, but I am gonna be upgrading my camera very shortly from a, uh, a GoPro style camera to a nice uh, you know, DSLR 4K camera and get all the right settings. But Getting started guys, we're gonna be doing a high and tight today. So as you can see, setting in a bald line with the clipper closed, and we're gonna to get to the, to, the, to the next part very shortly. Okay, and here it is guys, next step, clipper open. We're gonna be going up about a half an inch above the clipper clothesline. Make sure you are very consistent with this line. This is the most crucial step in any fade is the space between the clipper close and the clipper open. So here we go guys. To remove the line between the clipper closed and the clipper open, all you have to do is start with the clipper closed and work your way with the lever all the way to the open position and meet where you did your previous step with the clipper open. So as you can see guys, starting with the clipper closed, just a hair above clipper closed, as you can see, it'll take out that line just a little bit. Use a heavy flicking motion and a light touch when doing this and it'll mitigate the amount of time that you have to spend to try and remove this line. Okay, next step, number two guard, plastic on the top. Make sure if you guys are doing a clipper guard on top of someone's head, nice buzz, that you guys are really, really consistent to make sure that you get every single little hair. A lot of beginner barbers tend to miss this step and it is absolutely crucial. This is just as important as the sides. It is easy to just say, okay, it's good enough. It's not good enough. Make sure you get every single hair on the top because the client's gonna see that just as much as the fade on the sides. Okay guys, and the next step here is using a number one guard with the clipper closed and open. You can use this to your advantage by using the client's head. What I mean by that is the client has a natural round to their head, especially on a high and tight. The high and tight, if done correctly, you will be able to blend any guard on top into a skin fade on the sides with a number one guard. All you have to do is ride the clipper off the round of the client's head. As you can see, my clipper's kind of like floating off the side of his head and I'm letting the clipper do the work. The round of the head allows the clipper to kind of fly off of the head. You get a better idea of what I'm talking about right here. And all it is is playing with the lever open and close and trying to remove like shadows and dark spots. You shouldn't create any actual line when doing this step. All it was going to do is just remove shadows. So there's a big difference between shadows and lines and that's what this step is going to do.
So a little trick that I like to use when doing the foil shaving is towards the initial step that I made in the beginning of this fade with the clipper closed, you guys will see towards the end of this balding process, I use a really, really heavy and quick flicking motion, a, a very heavy flicking motion of my wrist. And given the Braun Series 9 foil shaver, the way it's designed, for some reason, it really just blends into a clipper closed quite easily without leaving a quote unquote line in the fade as long as you use that heavy flicking motion like I discussed earlier. Okay guys, and that's it for this haircut tutorial on how to do a proper high and tight with a number two plastic on top. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could like and subscribe to my channel. I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers. That would be awesome. And then I can start doing this maybe as a part-time little gig and get more content to you guys. So if you're new to my channel, do consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you could check out more of my work on my Instagram. Thanks so much. I'll catch you guys in the next video.